Hi everybody, it's Miss Rachel and Bovino. Hello! We're from the Bedford Hills Free Library and we're here to do story time with you. Mm -hmm. All right, let's sing the hello song. It's nice to say hello, 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 moo. It's nice to say hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, me too. We're fine, and how are you? I'm fine, me too. We're fine, and how are you? How are ya? Did you play in the snow? Was it so much fun? That was a lot of snow. I hope you drink hot cocoa. Um, okay, so Bovina, you go here. And ukulele, you come here. And we'll sing that other good morning song. Where we clap our hands and do all kinds of things. All right. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Let's clap our hands like this. And can you stamp your feet? Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Let's stamp our feet like this. You can't see my feet. Can you hear that I was stomping? I'm wearing slippers, so it makes a quiet noise. Stomp, 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 stomp. All right. What else? Uh, now you think of something. Okay. So I don't know what you're gonna do. I hope it's cuckoo. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. As you know, we always end with a jump. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Jump up and down like this. Jump, 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 jump. And good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Let's sit and listen. Yeah. I always like to end that way so it gets us back in the mood and in the groove to hear our book. So the story we're going to read today is called May I Have a Cookie? Nope. It's called May I Please Have a Cookie. I almost mixed up those words. I thought I had it and then I looked and I read the words and I realized that it said May I Please Have a Cookie? And it was written by Jennifer Morris. And I guess she must have done the illustrations too, because hers is the only name I see. May I please have a cookie? Do you guys like cookies? I do. If you were wondering, I guess my favorite is maybe an Oreo? Yeah, maybe. Or chocolate chip. Or gingerbread. I don't know. Mm, I like in this picture, you can see that little white swirl that makes it look like it's a yummy smell coming up from those tray of cookies. Mommy was baking cookies and Alfie loved cookies. That must be Alfie. He loved to smell cookies. Here's that smell line again. And he loved to look at cookies. I <laughs> like this picture where you just see his eyeballs. He liked to smell cookies and look at cookies. But most of all, Alfie loved to eat cookies, of course. <gasps> Don't grab, Alfie, said Mommy. Can you think of a better way to get a cookie? Hmm. Alfie thought, and he thought, and he thought, and he thought, and then Alfie had, ding, an idea. He found a big coat and a big hat. Look, he's playing dress up. He looks, <laughs> he wrote on this book, it says cookie inspector. Like he's some kind of official guy that needs to check out the cookie. So he said, I want a cookie, said Alfie in a big deep voice. But oops, what happened? Part of his disguise came off. Can you see over there? His mustache. <laughs> I think his mom probably knew it was him all along with or without the mustache. No, Alfie, said Mommy. Think of a better way to get a cookie. 
So Alfie had another idea and he went outside. Mommy put icing on the cookies and then she <laughs> saw something. Do you see what Mommy sees? Coming down out through the window into the kitchen. It looks like a, a fishing hook. He's trying to snag a cookie that way. Do you think that's what Mommy meant when she said think of a better way to get a cookie? I don't think so. Get down, Alfie, cried Mommy. Think of a better way to get a cookie. Do you see? Do you see him up in the tree? He had to get really high up to drop that fishing line down. For a cookie. Hmm, Alfie thought of another idea. He went to his room and he got some paper. He cut and he colored and soon Alfie had his own cookies. That was creative. You can't eat one of Mama's cookies. He made his own. His, of course, are made out of paper, so they probably won't taste as good. But he still wanted a real cookie. And Alfie began to cry. Mm. Mommy hugged Alfie. The cookies you made look yummy. May I please have one? Oh, that cheered him up. And he's sharing one of his homemade cookies with his mommy. And then, Alfie had the best idea of all. I guess he must have heard what his mom had said. And then he got the idea to say, Mommy, may I please have a cookie? He said, ah. Thank you said oh wait I'm sorry first mommy says yes you may Alfie said mommy so that was the better way to get a cookie right all he had to do was ask in a polite way by saying please yes you may Alfie said mommy thank you said Alfie you're welcome said mommy and that's the end let's just look at that last picture again I like the two of them snuggled up together eating cookies with lots of love it's a really nice image, right? <laughs> Yay. So he just needed to use the, the right proper um, polite language. May I please have a cookie? So when I see this image of Alfie sticking his hand in the cookie jar, it makes me think of an old, uh, I was going to say song, but more of like a chant that um, that. I used to do when I was a kid, and maybe the, the moms and dads know it, and um, maybe the kids know it, and if not, I'm about to teach you. So it's a, like a rhythm, so you can do like a clap thing. You can do, I'm doing tap on my lap and then clap, tap, clap, tap, clap. Can you try that? And then um, it's just sort of like a little call and response game where you talk about uh, with all the kids or whoever's in the room with you, and everyone sort of has a turn to say that they are not the person who took the cookie. <laughs> I think I'll just do an example and then you'll understand what I mean. So let's pretend it's Alfie. You see him with the hand in the, in the cookie jar? So I would say, who took the cookie from the cookie jar? Alfie took the cookie from the cookie jar. And then Alfie would say, who, me? And he'd say, yes, you. And he'd say, couldn't be. And then we say, then who? And then Alfie would say someone else in the room. So it doesn't really work with a book. I think it would be fun with some, some more people. So I'm going to invite Aya to come join me for this song. Aya, there's, make some room when we bovina over. Thanks. Hi. Can you scoot a little closer? Yes. Say hi to everybody. Hello, everyone. <laughs> this is Aya. She's going to play the cookie jar game with us. Can I play too? Yes, of course. So should we try it? And you guys play at home too. So tap, clap, tap, clap, tap, clap, tap, clap. Who took a cookie from the cookie jar? I took a cookie from the cookie jar. Who, me? Yes, you. Couldn't be. Then who? Bovina took a cookie from the cookie jar. Who, me? Yes, you. Couldn't be. Then who? Miss Rachel took the cookie from the cookie jar. Who, me? Yes, yes you. you. Couldn't be. Then, then who? Well, I think it should be you. So, Aya and I... And not Bovina, because I won't be able to clap if she's up there. Aya and I will do the 
tap in the claps for you and um, and we'll say the other words but when it's time to say a name or who me and stuff like that you say it at home okay I think we got this let's try it ready Took a cookie from the cookie jar. Took the cookie from the cookie jar. Yes, you. Then who? And now you get to say a name. But we can't hear you, so let's hold on. Let's time out for a second. And remember that. Do you think you have it in your head? I hope so. We'll sing the goodbye song and wrap it up. And then you take that little poem that's in your head and go all around your house. And be sure to do it to every grown-up in the house and all your brothers and sisters. Everyone will think it's really fun. And if they don't want to play with you, then you can set up your stuffed animals and um, make different voices for everyone. And soon everyone will have a chance to accuse someone of taking a cookie and denying taking a cookie. Those are some funny big words that I used. Accuse means when you... you tell someone that you think they did something that wasn't great and then to deny it says no I, I didn't do it it wasn't me uh, but it's more fun in a poem okay I'm gonna stop talking let's sing the goodbye song okay thanks for coming yeah you know the goodbye song yes okay ready goodbye goodbye everyone glad you came hope you had fun I'll see you another day. We'll have more time to read and play. Goodbye, goodbye everyone. Glad you came, hope you had fun. Yay! Bye, Leo, thanks for coming. Bye.